you were created for the extraordinary. I am so passionate about this message, Extraordinary. I think the reason is, is because we have been created for the extraordinary, but it was stolen. It was taken from us. You know, God put man in the garden, and if you look at Adam, he named 1.25 million species of animals. Not only did he have the capacity to name them, he had the capacity to remember them. But you say, John, that was all lost. It was all lost in the fall. Well, Romans 5.17 says that what Adam lost in the fall, Jesus got it back and that we are to rule in life through the grace of God. This message is a message that has not been told to us, and that is that grace gives us the ability to live extraordinary. I believe this is one of the most important messages God's ever given me to write to the church. And the reason the church needs this message so bad is that we have reduced grace down from being just forgiveness of sins, fire insurance, and a ticket into heaven, and we have lost sight that grace gives us the ability to live beyond our natural ability. If we're not dependent on His grace, we can only go as far as our human ability allows us. But when we enter into His grace, His ability, we truly rise into the extraordinary life we were created for. You may say, why would I want to live extraordinarily? I like being average. I like being normal. Let me tell you something. There is an inborn desire in you, God put it there, to live extraordinarily. You will live that way throughout all of eternity, but it's most important that you tap into it right now because that is the light. Jesus said we are the light of the world. That aspect, the extraordinary, is what shines above what the world lives in. And you'll live in a way that will bring great joy to you and great joy to your Father. Because Jesus said when you bear this kind of fruit, it brings tremendous pleasure to our Heavenly Father. Be extraordinary.